Great, thanks. Hi, I'm El. I write for Comic Book Resources. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Yeah, thanks for thanks for talking to me. My pleasure. Yeah, um, I'd love to start by just asking what drew you to the dropout and the story of Elizabeth Holmes. Yeah, it's such an interesting story, and I had remembered reading about it in a Vanity Fair article, like when the company was, you know, on its way down, the sort of beginning of the end of the company, and I. I just was fascinated by it. And then um, a couple years later, uh, Fox Searchlight approached me about um, about adapting this, the podcast that Rebecca Jarvis did called The Dropout, which is incredible. And I really recommend uh, listening to it if you're interested in the story. Um, and I remember thinking, well, there's been a documentary, there's been a book, there's been a podcast, there's been a lot of reporting. Like, do we need this limited series? <laughs> like, what can I do? How can I tell the story uh, in a new way and what I what I arrived at was just that none of those other versions of the story uh, were able to tell it from Elizabeth's point of view or to be to be able to really like get inside of her mind as much as possible Um, and obviously I you know was not I don't actually know what her point of view was (laughs) so it was it was a lot of just you know looking at the facts and trying to think like of what of what she was thinking and feeling in, in that moment. I, I also think it's a, it's a really fascinating story about, you know, a young woman in a position of power um, in over her head kind of uh, grappling with what her power means. And I was definitely drawn to that part of the story too, um, having started New Girl when I was 29 and, you know, not, uh, not really having the experience and kind of getting thrust into that position. So I thought it was just, an, I, there, to me, there was just, there's not a lot of stories on television about young women in positions of power that aren't, you know, the girl boss version of that story. <laughs> the sort of like, sure. yeah. So I, 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 I was just really drawn to to the story. And, and every time I, you know, thought I'd, learned everything about it there was something new to learn so it really is like a there's so many layers it's a really complicated like juicy story it absolutely is and the miniseries does a great job of of highlighting that I think Uh, it sounds like you are able to relate a little bit to uh, the character of Elizabeth and I think one of the things that the miniseries does really well is make these characters incredibly complex so how did you go about finding the the different sides of all these characters that that come to the table in this yeah I'm and it, I'm glad you said that like that because it was important to me to think about the different sides. I, you know, I, I, I related to aspects of her character, but there are definitely aspects I didn't, I didn't relate to as much. So I think, it, but I think there's, you know, uh, so many interesting characters in the story, and that's I think something that people don't know. I think people know a lot about her, and obviously she's been, you know, uh, in the news a lot, but the company was around for 12 years. And I mean, this is an eight episode limited series. There's a lot of just people that came in and out who are fascinating and, and them different ways of getting kind of caught up in what was going on and then extricating themselves. And, um, I, I really, uh, just did a lot of research and then, um, you know, put the characters in it was kind of already there I have to say like they're just the, it's there's a lot of just really interesting people involved in this story so um you know George Schultz uh played by Sam Waterston who was uh you know really high up in the Reagan administration and you know just and there, there's a lot of elements to, to it so. It all comes together really well. How important do you think it is for uh, to, to have women helping to tell the story that it, that is about a complicated woman boss and a complicated woman character? I mean, it's always an interesting question because I, you know, I like to think that I can write male characters, um, you know, just as well as female characters. But I do think that um, I do think it's important because I, I think there are probably details like for example there's a there's a moment in the show where her bra strap is showing and then she just cuts it off with a pair of scissors and I'm like I don't know I mean maybe a man could sort of tap into that (laughs) to that feeling but um yeah I mean I do I do think that 
it's it's it was good to have a lot of women involved in making this. I think 